Okay guys, it's kind of like really bad raining outside, so I thought I'd do a toad gender video. Um, basically how to tell if you're American toad or fuller's toad is male or female. Now I'm going to start out with a female. This is my only American toad. The other two are fuller's toads. And I'm sorry if I'm talking really quiet, guys. I'm just a naturally quiet person, but um, you can tell she's female because she's... Well, she's really fat, not to be rude, and if you hold her like this, she doesn't make any release call sounds or anything. Um, and now I'm going to get the mail out. Okay, this is the mail right here. And he always sits like that for some reason. Um, you can tell he's male because, well, one, if you hold him like this for a little bit, Do it for the audience. <laughs> like that. There we go. That's a release call that males do if another male gets on them during the breeding season. Um, you can also tell with the blue on his throat that you can't really see because he doesn't like going upside down. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Let go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Floki. Um, and then the females will have lighter throats and I really don't want to flip over because she's so fat. But if you can get it. No, you can't. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah. Uh, younger ones that are under like an inch and a half. These two are full grown, I'm pretty sure. But any two that's under an inch and a half are really hard to tell the gender of. Now this little girl hiding right there, I think it's a girl, I'm pretty sure, but I don't know. Because she's not even, she's like barely an inch, you can see from there. Like all her stuff is for hermit crabs, she's so small. Right, get out from under there, you're going to get crushed. Good girl, you're okay. Um, I'm probably going to pause this video anyway and do an introduction because I've never done an introduction. And it's pouring outside. And, yeah, I just thought I might. So I'll pause it here and fix everything up so we can do introductions. Okay, the first toad that I showed, which is the female, the big female from this tank. Um, her name is Artemis. She is the first toad that I got, the most lovable out of all of them. She used to be so tiny. She used to be about that size. And she's grown so much in the time that I've had her. And I have fallen in love with her. She's my favorite toad out of all of them. And she's really not that old, I don't think. I think she's like four or something. I don't know. I've only had her for about a year. So I'm going to pause it here, get the mail out, and introduce you to him. Okay, here he is. He's a folders toad, just like the little one. Um, his name is Floki, from the Viking series. I know. Um, he was my third toad that I got. So he's in there with her. Um, he's definitely one of the, or he's definitely more active than her. She, or he, is crazy, but not nearly as crazy as he is. And I apologize for any background noise, guys. My stepsister and my twin sister are kind of making a lot of noise downstairs. Um, but yeah, I'll put him back and bring out the little one. Okay, this is the last toad. She is my little toad, my littlest toad. Um, she... or he is a fuller's toad. Uh, with my second toad that I got, and she's just absolutely adorable. I love her. Go down there. Um, she's definitely an enjoyable toad to have. I recommend toads for pets, guys. These guys are amazing. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for my video. Uh, sorry for any background noise or from being too quiet or anything like that.